a deadline. Lighter? Can we turn the lights up a bit, please? Damn, that's bright. Can we begin with number one, please? Number one, step forward into the main lights and turn yeah. to the right. So, you know why we're here? <laughs> you mean in a police lab? Now turn to the left, please. I just meant, what are they looking for? Didn't they tell you? No. Just a quick 20 bucks. I don't always get told why. They call you? Yeah. Okay, number one, could you face the back wall, please? And lift your hands. That ain't good. What do you mean? I mean, if they call you, you could be a suspect. That's crazy. Think so? Okay, step back, number one. Number two, yes, yes, you. Would you please step forward? They call you? Yeah, but they always invite me. How come? You know, cops. They try to find someone to pin stuff on. They've detained me so often. Yeah, never mind. No, what? To the right, number two, turn your head so we can see your profile, please. It ain't important. It's not like we're exactly busy. Okay, okay. So the cops have detained and searched me eight times in the last three months. No kidding. But they ain't doing that no more. How come? Okay, step back, number two. Hold for a second, please. I got myself an order from the judge that they got to stop harassing me. You're kidding. That's really cool. So why are you here? I ain't got nothing to hide. So when they call, I figure a cool 20 bucks is a good way to stick it to them even more. They can't touch me without actual proof. Way to go, man. Police brutality is something we all gotta watch out for. Freaking right. Freaking right. Okay, number three, your turn. Thing is... Step out into the light, please. They're looking for a grave robber. Really? Yep. Who saw him? Some old cemetery groundskeeper, probably. Where it is that whoever it was dug up flicker spats. Who's that? Jeez, man. Don't you read the newspaper? Turn around, number three, and face the back. He's the wise guy who stole from the mob when they brought down the Zeppelini family. Wow. I heard about that. Why would they rob his grave? Because of what they think was buried with Number him. Number four! Step forward, please. That's you. Yeah. One second. Okay. Turn to the left, please. Now to the right. Thanks. Step back, please. What was it? Huh? What did they think he was buried with? A key. Or a map, maybe. Where it is that his family put it on his body so the cops wouldn't check the house for it. Wow. Just think. Yep. That's a lot of money. Quarter of a million cool ones. Okay, take five minutes, please, but don't leave the room. We'll be right back. Man, I could use a smoke. Now's the time. You heard him. We can't leave. They don't mind. Funny, ain't it? No smoking ordinance across the city, and the cops turn a blind eye in their own station. <laughs> Guess it's part of the perks of walking the catwalk. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, you want one? Sure, thanks. You got a light? Um, uh, just a sec. Yeah, I got a lighter. Here, hold still for a sec. Let me see it. Fine. Okay, gentlemen, let's get someone in here with handcuffs. What? That's Flicker Spats lighter you got there, Mr. Bates. How did you... I'm Officer Milford. Everyone knows Flicker was buried with his lighter. They made a big showing of it at the funeral. He loved his cigarettes. Guess that was too much of a temptation. Gold lighter and all. You would have done better just staying with whatever you got from the corpse. You can't. The judge. This is more than probable cause here, Mr. Bates. This is your evidence of grave robbing. Officer Dunleavy will read you your rights. Oh, and officer, add the citation, smoking in a public place. After all, we wouldn't want to turn the other way, would we, Mr. Bates? You've just listened to Lighter. Written and produced by Jack J. Ward. Starring Ken McAlpine as Milford, Alex McDonald as Bates, and Jack Ward as the Unseen Cop. Sound recording was by Shannon Hilchey. 
The Deadline Anthology was recorded at the Electric Vicuna Studios in Bedford, Nova Scotia, Canada. This has been an Electric Vicuna production.